morning guys and welcome to what should have been the second video but ended up being the first because yesterday when I was editing it uh, the last one where you would have seen the Toros had the Supreme put on it Adobe decided to you know say nah fuck you but today I start college back up so that's where we you know we're all dressed up a little bit not even really to go um, I start pretty early in the morning and then I come back and then I'll chill probably for like an hour and then probably get to work. Uh, what I'm planning on doing, since you guys didn't see it yesterday, I'll show you right now. I'll show you how the Sharpie 4s turned out yesterday. Um, the print turned out all right because it is doing what I wanted to do, which is be solid in the front and then start to fade. It's just the Sharpies that are, you know, messing with my head. So it was super, super dark in the front and it starts to slowly fade away. So I had dyed these with Angelus, but then it left like a green chameleon look. So I had to take it all off with hydrate peroxide. And that's why the shoe may look a little weird, but actually doing that actually helped me a lot more to uh, fade the back ones a little bit. That's why they're not as dark. I'll show you right there. So I gotta go over a few to kind of lighten it up, but that was actually pretty cool. So that's what they look like now. The other one is sitting here prepped. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna buy Jakar Dynafo Red, which is what I use here. I use Jakar Dynafo Black. It's straight, uh, it's for fabrics. So it laid out pretty well and it's actually super strong. I have to rub a lot to make these fade a little bit. That's what we're doing, that's these. And then my snake skins are almost done. Did the best I could with the pain in this thing. I had to strip the ugly crack leather. I start college back up. Uh, it's really weird. We're gonna see how this goes. Uh, I really want to get back into college. Reason being is I want to make sure that if you don't realize by now, a lot of the most successful people who don't go to school and make it without school, they always end up saying, "Yeah, I wish I could have gone to school. I wish I would have gone to school and you know actually learned and did this and that." So instead of going through that phase, why not just finish it while you while I'm here? So that's what we're doing. Uh, which if you guys don't know, I'm going to major in business, and then I'm also getting a certificate in entrepreneurship, so that's going to be sick. Um, yeah, I'm not really a school person, so this is going to be kind of hard to, you know, um, learn how to balance and not just put work over school, because that's what I used to do. I used to just put work over school, and then I'd be cramming the next day, uh, the last day of the, like, assignment or, you know, homework or test or whatever. But yeah, guys, welcome to Life of a Store, now as a full-time a student and a full-time entrepreneur. See how this goes. And don't forget to follow. For the cactus. All right, so from Hobby Lobby, we got the threading color from 809. Now, the way this is woven, it is pretty loose. I was running it by my homie Hoop Fresh uh, because he was trying to, you know, help me figure find out like the closest, if not the perfect match for this one. So this is what I think is the closest. The reason being is I was comparing it to some pictures, and this has like the most undertone. So we're gonna go match this. If not, then I'm gonna head to my other like city or town next to me, Lodi, to their Hobby Lobby and see if they have that and maybe some Createx and Jacquard stuff. So let's go. So it didn't match up, it was actually really off. This is more of a blue. So now that I see it in person, because in picture the shoe kind of looks purple, but in this lighting it's, it's more blue than anything. So now I know to go with like a metallic or satin sort of thread that is more baby blue, it's sort of dark. I would take the shoe with me, but I got class and I'm not trying to leave this um, in the car for theft purposes and heat purposes. We're back. Hello. We're live. Um, the last scene I think you guys saw was probably me in the Stockton Hobby Lobby, which is where I live. After that, um, I went home, went back to school, met up with this beautiful thing. And then uh, we went to the, the town or city, whatever you want to call it, over to us. They didn't have it. It was almost a match. So right now we're going over to Michael's, which is like a, a, a 
It was your bob, but with black wheels. You said, oh, ew. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to say ew. But anyways, anyways, I have the actual shoe with me so that way I can, you know, stop going back and forth. Because this one, it was, oh, shit. <laughs> I think it's because the picture that you took yeah. was... This one was such a, was such a so, like, this is the second one. So the first one you guys saw, that one didn't work when we just, uh, we went to go return it. Anyways, yeah, that was the second one. The first one was like a very, very horrible uh, match. If you follow me on Instagram right here, you would already know that, uh, you know, those two didn't match up. The second one was so close to this, but this is a little bit darker than your regular baby blue. At first, like I was saying, it looked like in a picture that I was looking at and referring to that it looked purple on the upper a little bit. That's why I went with the purple undertone, but now I know it's like just a really dark uh, baby blue. So I'm hoping that Michaels has it, if not Hobby Lobby, so that way uh, we can just exchange it. That's what we're doing. And then shout out to the homie Shoe Reviver. I'll show you what he sent us in a bit for the free. I appreciate you, homie. The other day, so I wrapped her steering wheel. I'm actually pretty jealous of you. Why? What the heck? Because yours stayed. I did mine too, but since mine isn't like hers, my my uh, shiny piece curves, and then there's just like a gap from uh, the, sh the little shifter button. And then from the piece, so mine curled up because it was so damn hot, but her stayed because it's, it's inside all the crevices. Oh, look at babe, it's a pack rat. It ain't not a frack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. I just seen an M5. That shit's a unicorn to me here in Stockton. That shit was beautiful. Damn, bitch, why is it so fucking low over here? Who knows? Crazy thing is that it was a girl driving it too, and that shit was like. It was crazy How fixed up. How is it up. crazy? Hmm? 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 You think girls can't mod their cars? It's a powerful car, man. <laughs> Anyways, that shit was beautiful, man. It was a black M5. It had, like, uh, bronze rims. And then it had a, a wing. The wing was kind of ugly. But then if you heard it, you gotta wait. If you heard that shit, it was, it was my God, oh my God, oh my God. tongue tying me. If you, if you have ever heard uh, an M5 V10, you know that shit sounds like a race car. That's why I want to. Uh, you said, yeah. yeah, just driving slowly. That shit was like hella loud. That's why I want to get a muffler for mine because uh, mine slightly sounds like it. It's a, it's just a V6, so it's not even as fast as a V10. But we're here at Michael's, so we're gonna go now. So we're inside Michael's. I haven't found. We're also here for Createx and uh, an Asian promoter for acrylic paint. I haven't seen anything, but I'm actually pretty happy because they carry GAC 900 which is the fabric medium paint for when you want to do like uh, sock liners or any sort of dyeing up fabric if you don't want to dye. So that's pretty uh, pretty good. Even though it's 18 bucks, it saves me a lot of shipping money and all that. And then right now I'm just seeing maybe if that same brand has an uh, adhesion promoter, but it doesn't look like they, like they have it. So I'll keep you guys posted. fucking toy store man i want to get all these brushes i don't know why i love going here <laughs> well I, I was never really fully into being like a an artist of the time i guess oh i'm so fucking i'm an artist fucker look are you guys always asking what this tool is go to michael's for a pack right there there it is in action you can see it blends pretty nicely it started right there All right, guys, so this is going to be the vlog for you. Uh, I just got back. Last you saw me, I was working on those. A uh, really big accident happened with uh, my girlfriend and her family's car. <laughs> family's car. Luckily, nobody was hurt, so that's what matters. But uh, st stupid people making stupid mistakes and stupid Mustangs. Main reason I hate Mustangs. Uh, they're all good, though. A little shaken up uh, for certain reasons. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish these. And then I'm going to go upstairs and edit so that way you guys can actually get a video because it's been a few days. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, it's going to be like this a lot more because I have school now. So, you know, see inside of an entrepreneur and full-time student. I will see you guys tomorrow. Less rushing, more trusting in your process. Don't forget to follow me. It's been right here the whole time. And 
shirts are still for sale. Twenty dollars plus probably like a dollar or so for shipping. Hit me up. Support the boy. Deuces.